Well, I'm pretty sure Fireball's not gonna play. I'm guessing Murky's gonna come in, so Fireball will probably leave, or he should leave. Unless he's gonna play with 140 ping, I don't know. Waiting for the command decision by the admins. Uh, Mozart getting his at GameStop, huh? Software ETC then, Collector's Edition. I think I got mine from Best Buy years ago. The shop I got mine from is actually completely shut down since. The yeah, shop you got what, Wolfenstein it? <laughs> Yep. So the game outlasted the store. So weird, I was never into gaming or anything before you. this game either. This was like the game that got me addicted. The addiction is real. I was gonna say I don't think I could I don't think I could say where I got the uh, my original copy of the game from. It, it had to have been one of the big box stores, probably out of business now. It was either Best Buy or Circuit City or something like that. So what's the deal here, Merlin? What's the plan? What's the final verdict as we gear up for the action in the server? Um, I think they're waiting for Billy to disconnect. Anti-lag needs to be enabled on the server as well. It's not enabled. Have you got, have you got Archon for the server? Uh, I certainly hope you're not well, talking to me. Archon's because... password? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking to SQLite. Okay. All right. So what do I do? When I type an Archon password, then the password, and then type in what? Uh, then you do slash Archon uh, G underscore anti lag one. But you have to do it with uh, the speech marks, I think. Did it work? No. No. What is going on with my music? Oh, whoa. whoa. Hang tight. I'm having some serious malfunctions here. Uh, take it away, guys. Did it work? Yep, looks like it. Okay. I figured it out! You have to revote the map. Just to make sure. Alright, hang tight. I need about 30 se I'm having some major malfunctions here. Hang tight real quick. Something is... Yeah, it's uh, on. I need legs on. Something is definitely All of a sudden, skewed. War Witch is on Sabo's PC now. He looks pretty petrified on the uh, stream. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I, I, I really can't explain what just happened. <laughs> but basically, everything just went to hell. But I, I, we're good, we're good. Let's head back and server. Apologies for the technical troubles and the delay tonight. We're waiting on four. We'll be starting here in just a moment. Brandon Sartre is Chrono Mask and Lasher versus Wheat Pootie, Oxy Art Star Kevin, and Atarax. Go ahead. I was going to say, it looks like Rusty did pick uh, Frostbite then, or did they, did they just restart this map to make sure anti lag was on? I wasn't sure. Um, but my, best, go my best guess would be we're playing on here. I think we're playing here, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like Frostbite up, so. is going to be our first map Frostbite. this evening. The Allied Push, Team Rusty. Only 40 minutes late. Yeah, it's about par for the course. <laughs> We're almost to 100 viewers. Couple extra sets at the gym. Yeah. Once we're there, Good. once we're there, we'll get that quality adjustment, low, medium, or high. So grab your friends, get them in here, soldiers. 
And let's get ready as we're now waiting on two. Parcher and Viz. And once they ready up, the game will be on. Place your bets. And we'll be starting the match here in just a moment. Well, really, you look at the uh, the ping difference right now as far as uh, both, like, as a, the teams combined. Uh, it's not that bad. 76 to 123 is what it's showing up on mine now. So, I mean, it's not horrible. Yeah, the service is pretty good, though, for uh, most of the Euro teams. They, uh, they seem to register pretty good on it, at least. Uh, they've told me, at least. I don't know if it's true, but we'll see. I'm not sure how much experience Rusty has playing with high pings either. I would say very little. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So they definitely uh, are disadvantaged here in more than one way. It'll be real interesting, Merlin. The real question throughout the season that we've seen is that offense in the Alliance Cup, especially in the latter half of the season, has been lacking. Defense has been solid, so we'll find out right now what kind of offense Rusty can bring. Can they set the pace? Or will they languish? Ladies and gentlemen, soldiers and soldats, at long last, your patience will be rewarded. We are live for Return to Castle Wolfenstein tonight. Warwich with gut with Merlin, with CKY, gearing up for the action in three, two, and a one. Maybe. Let's go, here's Rusty on the push. Gut, you've got the call, Commander. Take it away. I'm watching the normal uh, push up here. Oxy's the first one up the ladder. He is, of course, running into an airstrike, but he's wow. going in almost untouched right here. There's no Look access flag to room. the flag. And he's sitting wow. there waiting till the countdown. He's got the flag right now. Wow. Uh, very surprising start right there. I don't know where the axes were. Uh, they really should have been in that flag room. But uh, Rusty is... Uh, Arthur set to already push going here. for docks. Yeah, they're just about to spawn the... They're going to spawn on him. Spawn. Oh, we're very He's waiting with an aid. Oh, nice. Well, that's One two full. That could be potentially two full. Unity are all over the place. Really quick plant. Service oh, and down. Cute... Okay. They're going to get the docks here. Atarax is jumping right. on docks. He's going to... Oh, he missed! He missed the dog. He thinks he's got it. I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, the classic. He thinks he has well, it. There's our, there's our safety. No, in the there it is. Right there. There's the safety we were talking about there right now. Is. Thinks he got the grab. Dives for it. Runs away. Realizes I don't have it. Crap. And that is going to allow Team Unity to set up here tonight. That being said, CKY, let's hand it to you. Take it away. Uh, we got two medics here pushing spawn side. They're going to kill out. They don't want to go out full. Looks like they had a really good push there. They had a great chance. Brandon is playing around here at flag. He looks like they're going to kill out now, Unity, and waiting on the next allied push here. Rusty Kevin by himself in the courtyard. Yep. Going to follow him. He's making his way up the spawn side stairs, creeping his way around. He's got a nade in hand. He's looking to try to get someone out spawn side. He's clear right now. Looks like only one's here. He's going to make a revive on his teammate. Got two medics here now. Oh, man, and they're all... They're gone. Lasher takes the, the last guy. Shuts down that push. Very solid don't start. any other pushes coming along right now. But they're definitely languishing now, Merlin. That was impressive. Very impressive right here from Team Rusty. Unfortunately, a couple fumbles early on, and they can't get that early grab. Yeah, there, there was a lot of action in that first minute. So much was going they need to just keep keep piling on the pressure. Basically, the the spawns are so offset. There's there's pretty much a, a 13, 14 second differential, and they need to just wait until they're full. And that's what they're doing now. Rusty are just waiting. A very smart move. Now now Unity are full. Now Rusty will just go on the offensive, knowing that any kill will will get them full, and just set up the next attack. Into the breach. Adarax and Artstar now trying to get some kind of penetration. Here's Adarax backed up by Artstar and revived. A rusty uh, week here, coming up for a pl uh, dock grab. He's gonna get it. Yeah, week's there. Hang tight, go for the grab. He's he waits. He's gonna There's swing another by. Guy service. Got oh. it. He's screwed. I'm a little surprised, Gut, that he actually chose to go that direction. Oh, nice shot. Nice Panzer from Alasher shuts it down. Back to back. Two man kill. Gut, go ahead. 
Yeah, I was uh, I was really surprised right there too. I mean, this map it's it's so quick to get out of there. You think uh, you know you you got that uh, the access down the service hall? Just grab it, go back the other way. I, I'm not sure if maybe he wasn't sure what the spawn times were, or if there were maybe access uh, coming from the from behind him as well. But uh, that was quite surprising that he decided to uh, to sit there and fight uh, as opposed to grab the docks. Great news, guys. Uh, the Ooh. choice now for high, medium, or low has kicked in. So if you are having problems with buffering on the stream, you should now be able to select the definition in which you wish to watch Warwick TV tonight. That being said, Merlin, I'm tracking weak. Take it away, Commander. Okay, I'll just jump on weak. Uh, basically, we saw... Oh, he's, he's on the docks here. There is one one guy left at dock. We saw some really nice panda exchanges. So unlucky from Atarax. Nearly a two-man name. He's got the docks though, he's gonna get away. He actually did does pick he the actually docks has up this time. time. He's he making his leg down. Oh, they're down. Oxy there picks him support. up, gets the grab, he's got it, rakes it home. Here's Oxy as a medic. Pistol out. The good chance to set a solid time here on MP Frostbite or and they have artillery out the gate too, which is Yeah, here we go. He should go straight for He's, he's got a he's good, good chance if he goes straight Artillery in. Artillery right side. He's going to make his way Looks up the like ladder right now. High. Backed up by Kevin. Inside now. Wow! Oh, Panzer, Panzer Faust moves. nearly blows his shorts completely off. Misses <laughs> him by a fraction of an inch and gets the cap at 449. Let's pull up the scores. All right, CKY, break it down. That Panzer was close. I saw a complete cluster disaster there <laughs> with uh, Unity. Lasher got a two-man Panzer T uh, TK, looks like. I mean, just madness, pretty much. It looks like Unity were all out of place. They, yep. they just—I don't know what they were doing. They were—they were pushing up, then they were falling back, then they were up each other's asses, and then TKing each other. And there was seemed to be very little communication. I seen Lasher get two or three big TKs there on uh, Viz. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell Unity was doing. This is their server, uh, but this is Rusty's map. So Unity definitely showing some weaknesses there on defense. But uh, let's see how they come out on offense and see if they can switch it around. Pretty I gotta throw Go in. Ahead, I, I, w I will say though that uh, you know after watching how horrible their defense was at the start there for Unity, I mean the fact they didn't even have anybody in the flag room to, to hold it for 4:49 actually isn't that bad after giving up the flag with with no resistance right off the bat. There was yeah, there was one person in the flag. He got panzered right away. And no one, tr no one from office and no one from down low even decided to come up the stairs and, and take over the flag. So that's bad communication on their part. I don't know who was supposed to uh, transfer up upstairs or what, but no one was there. They got a quick, quick flag grab. <clears throat> and it, it almost was disastrous. They almost got under a two-minute time there if, if he actually uh, grabbed yeah. the documents. He was gone. Could've he would have been, been gone, well, Archstar. Or who All was right, it, Atarax well? or Archstar that had the docs? Uh, was that's right. Rolls now oh, reversed. Okay. Merlin, so far, everything going in favor of Team Rusty tonight. They're setting the pace. But now here comes Team Unity tracking Chrono on the charge. Let's race it in. They've got four minutes and 49 seconds to beat that time. Here we go. Here's Chrono. Head to head meets Pootie's Panzerfaust. Blown away. Now tracking Parcher in the field. We'll shift off him. Dynamite Plant is on the door. And our focus now turns to Mask and the flag. Drops a nice grenade in. There's Artstar awaiting him now on defense. Pootie opens up. Looking at the same sort of offset on the spawn time. And we have a timeout, Merlin. Yeah, we're looking at the same sort of offset on the spawn times, so like 14 seconds. I think it was like 11 on the spawn before, so it's around the same. Um, it's, it's not looking good uh, for the allies at the moment. If, if the Axis can sort of just realize what the spawn times are, they can they can get a quite a good control on the ladder with artilleries. Um, and they've just got aimless full spawns. I mean, this is a really, really important... I mean, four-minute defense to, to get a, a point win with 150 ping for some of your players is really, really big. And if they take it to the European server, where, like we said, Unity will probably right. pick ice... I, I don't think Rusty are weak on ice, so I think they, they give himself a massive chance if they won this round. Yeah, it, it all comes down to this. Again, we're on a timeout situation right now. It looks like we did lose Mask. 
Yep. Who should hopefully be rejoining us in a moment. If you are just now joining the stream here tonight, welcome. Myself, Orwich, with Merlin Gut and CKY as we are taking a look at Unity versus Rusty. Uh, Rusty coming out very strong in that first round, setting a time of 4.49. Could have been a lot faster. Gut had that safety situation with the documents. Kind of ugly. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was fun to watch, though, and uh, and you know, and for Rusty, they still set a, a, a respectable time after that at 4:49, and we'll see if they can uh, hold it up. They've got a, a better start than Unity did last round, though, as now we're back uh, back, back in live here, and they are holding down the flag. Oh, oh great oh, start! Oh, two. Art Star taking a page out of the Merlinator playbook right there with a two-man kill. Bombs away. You get a flag grab. Yeah, they're gonna spawn the well. Tracking fireball. Takes down weak. And makes the revival. Adorax on the defense, setting up document defense here, Lieutenant and Medic. Double yeah, medic and like LT. Catwalk push through spawn right now. Big push coming through spawn. Here's Chrono. Nah, they all killed out. Uh, you didn't even miss the Panzer there. And oh, shut great down. Nade. Double yeah, grenade. Oxy, Oxy right Oxy there Cal drops it in. Yeah. Brandon Radio Stairs. Chrono shut down. See ya. And that's four out full for Unity. So they're going to push for the flag really aggressive. Rusty yeah, here. Well. Just, Just Fireball. Here. Fireball and Park Oh. <laughs> They're going to get it back. Wow. Nice job. Nice blitzkrieg really from nice Rusty. Play. Get it back. CKY, go ahead. And, uh, keep an eye on Putty. He's yeah, got I a Panzer him. right here at I the uh, wood stack. He's nade in hand. He's going to mess with him. Ah, uh, he gets Ooh. two out, though. And an artillery. Nice. That's four out full. Three alive. That's it. They got a revive here. They're all at wood stack. They're all going lower, it looks like. Oh, another <laughs> artillery by Kevin. They're doing an awesome job. Only 2.20 left on the clock. Lash is going to try to grab that flag. He's got it. They're going to spawn there. He's just holding it down. Spawning right now. Gut, got to say, pretty impressive job so far up. here by the deal. Oh. Pooty again, two-man oh, kill. Yeah. Yeah, I, was just watching, I was watching Pooty set that up, and uh, I saw that coming from a mile away. But it looks like everybody was able to get revived, so it looks like the Allies should have three going service side right now. I'm trying to catch up with everybody here and see where the hell everybody is. There's a Chrono takes down Adarax. Lasher takes nice out one guy with his Panzer here. So they've still got three guys trying to make a push for the uh, the docks right here. This could be something. Racing it now. Art Star is the only one defending the documents at present. Here comes that three man medic pain train push inside. They've got it. And Parcher, team captain, team unity racing at home. Let's roll. 131 on the clock. They're going to. They're going to be able to get over the wall and get to transmitter though, because of the spawn time offset. So they're going to be able, they've got a five man transmitter set up. They've only got to defend it for about a minute. The Axis is here. They're in position. The fight to the finish happens right now. Artillery everywhere. This is going to be close. Here's a Lasher with Panzer. We're going to try to move over and get Parcher. We've got to lock yeah, him right now. Here's here the one minute side. warning. He's doing a good job messing with him. Would love to hear the war room. Colonel's doing a great job with the pistol here. Unfortunately, uh, we do not have that enough. coverage tonight. Still with Parcher. Weak is hiding at their spawn. Keep an eye on Weak. He's hiding in their spawn. They don't even see him. They uh, know he's there. The They're all scattered. They're running out of time. 38 seconds left. They're going to have to make a move soon. Here we go. Oh. Race it in. So make a move. Left. Get it done. Inside. Up that ladder. Move it, soldier. Pooty double oh, grenade. Here, Chrono Arthur. Lasher blown away. Here's Parcher. Go. Go. Get it in. Race it oh. in. Taking shots. Shut down. Documents down, are think. down Any... on the top. 17 seconds. Somebody's got to grab him. Holy shit. Then Panzerfaust comes in. Art Star is there, oh, and he gets man. the return. Vital point tonight. CKY 1-0 to zero in favor of Team Rusty. Let's sound the anthem one more time. Shazam. Pooty is the freaking all-star there with those nades. Yep. Holy crap. Yep. Huge nades. Took out three. Took out... That was it. That was the push. Awesome well, that job. Was I, I, clutch. 
I thought it was odd that they, uh, it seemed like Unity, and I was just, I was kind of focused on Pootie the whole time inside, I didn't see what Unity was doing outside, but it seemed like they sent everybody underneath and only the dock carrier up top, which turned out to be not a good maneuver, as Pootie's grenades uh, greeted all of them. Well, they did have Viz up there, he was up there with him, and uh, he dropped down and got taken out by the medic, and then he was up there by himself, and it looks like he got taken out, and they were able to climb up the ladder, and no one was, no one was there to uh, stop him from taking the docks back, so... Yep. Yeah. I mean, they should have waited a couple situation. more seconds too. They had a uh, two on six. Ten more really seconds. nice play. That's a good question. Yeah, it was awesome. It looks like it was Rusty who took down Parcher. The question in channels by Smoke Steals. Who downed him on the transmitter? And it looks like it was uh, Weak took oh, down weak. Parcher. Yeah. And then I, the Panzerfaust followed up with the Gib. Prepare to fight. There we have it. That's Your a really first. big round, though, for Rusty. Oh, very important round. Your server. first point is in the scoreboards here right now. 1-0 to zero in favor of Team Rusty, who maintain now their Axis defense. Here's Unity with a chance to set the clock. Gut, once again, Commander, solid 10 minutes. Rusty on D, and here come Team Unity tonight. Track the action. Here we go. Let's roll. Take it away. Unity's got to be fired up right now, but they've got... Oh, they can't get the plant. Oh, wait, or did they get the plant? Looks like they... No, they're still trying to get no. revived. They haven't got the plant on the outside door yet here. Uh, oh, there's Fireball. He will probably get it down right here. Uh, looking back into the flag room, and uh, Rusty's got it locked down there. There's Adorax and someone else, Artstar, is there. Artstar doing his... Uh... Oh, he gets taken out by Lasher's Panzer. But not get Get anybody with their strike. Get revived. So they have the same spawn times, correct? Yeah, very, very much the same. Or oh, maybe two seconds out, but still. Yeah. No, five seconds off, it looks like. Damage welcome. YOLO360, good to have you. Eights from the birds, also in channel. Have a seat, enjoy. 852 on the clock. Flag defense very <laughs> solid. Here's Art Star. Brandon. And Adarax, the A team. Base penetration here, lower left hand side with Fireball Gut. Go ahead. Ooh. I'm still doing the same thing here, watching the flag, and there is not a lot of action. Oh, we got somebody coming from underneath. He is battling with Adarax. Oh, Ally's got two guys down here. Art Star turns around, starts firing. He takes out Viz. Looks like they still got that flag on uh, Free City Lockdown there, Ally Gibbed, and uh, yeah, they're ready to hold off another push right here. This is a nice good shot start. Oh, Lasher. but then Lasher takes them both out. Yep. So now the flag is open. Waiting for the grab it here. It sucks about being in the flag room. Parcher's got it. Fighting for it. Pistol on pistol action gets it in the nick of time. And on the RT timer no, no. in 3, 2, they and 1. Back. Yeah, they, they did. Back. It was a really nice oh. grab from Puddy. And a kill well out said, well said, yep. That's more just to add some frustration. I mean, they've got control of the flag now, but that would just annoy yep. the pushing in the office. They're going to get that plant down on service now, too. All right, CKY, go ahead. Here we go. Uh, looks like we have a courtyard spawn push right now, unless they killed out. Uh, we have Krona by himself pushing spawn. He's going to get taken out fairly quickly. Do have a Panzer shot coming in. Lash is going to take out just one. He's going to prime a nade, push uh, Catwalk by himself, get a nade in there, take out another one. He's going to probably get revived though. Uh, waiting to see here. Uh, Lash is pushing all the way through spawn. They don't see him. Looks like they're getting taken out. Uh, here three comes. guys up here at the actual documents. This is going to be the push here, and looks like the axes are going to win that one. Yeah, Rusty, uh, out full. Rusty pulled the, the full fallback mode right there. I think uh, they had four guys kind of circling yeah. the box right Oof. there. And they weren't able to, uh, the Unity wasn't able to push through. Lasher been pretty effective they so far. They do have a big service push Panzer. coming in now. Big service push coming in. Uh, just two left. LT medic combination. They're going to take everyone out. They're going to get a grab here. Oh, great nade. He is weak. Ken Parchik. Nope. Kevin, great nade and a great MP40 kill there on the LT and med combo at the docks. Well. Yeah, that was a great job there by Kevin. Viz is gonna get taken out service all alone. They're they're very split up. They're they're kind of doing. I seen Brandon and Viz doing one on one pushes all by themselves without waiting for their team. 
Kind of like Fireball right now in the courtyard by himself with a pistol. When you have to wonder about the uh, the psychological effect of, you know, you lose the first round on your home server, that that's never good. Yeah, yeah that's pretty bad. Just depends now how they, Merlin, are going to respond to that. Four man push on service. Com. Yep. Four man push service. Lasher leading the way. Soldier Thompson. Yep. They're going to get a dock grab here unless Art Star can stop him. He stops the first one from climbing up the ladder. He's going to try to stop Parcher. Parcher's going to make his way up. Push, can push the do it. Here's back. Parcher with the Parcher grab. He's got it. Dark. Race it home. Parcher, yes. Backed up now. He's in good shape. Nice Panzer Faust Ooh. action right there. Let's That's take a look. Good shot. Nice exchange. Let's get back to Parcher quick. Gut, go ahead. Not looking good for Rusty. Yeah, I'm following Parcher here as well. I don't see what's going on in the back side. It looks like he might have a clear uh, shot right He's in. Clear. He keeps going here. He's clear. Inside. Take shots. That's it. He's in. Dives in, swings in, transmits the documents. There we have it. Let's take a look at the time for you. It is set to 5.02. Merlin a little bit slower than that 4.49, obviously, but right around the same tempo. Well, I think um, Unity should be quite happy with that. Uh, it was their first proper attack on the docks where they got the dock, and they just got away pretty much clean, and and maybe maybe Rusty will be a bit, bit, bit disappointed. They were started so well, a lot of nice uh, like time spam parted like the artilleries up the up the snow, really slowing them down. And just to lose it in one attack um, on the main docks area, maybe a little bit disappointing, but I think they're going to be happy enough coming off of the US server one point. Um, but there's a lot of pressure on Unity now. They're, I mean, they, they've set a faster time against them. They know they can sure. do it this fast. Uh, they've got to defend it. They've got to defend it. It's only five minutes, but they've got to defend it. Well, it all comes down to this, and very likely, based on predictions, we'll be heading off to MP Ice next. Still 1-0, obviously in favor yeah, of Rusty. Yeah, it's going to be Ice. And well, here I mean, is almost, Rusty. You almost have to consider this a, a, a make-or-break round for Unity right here, right? I mean, they really have to hold this. Oh, they, they can't go down 2-0. They, yeah, they have to hold this. They have to. Mentally, they will be destroyed. All right, we'll talk about that scenario if it happens. Game is underway. Here comes Rusty looking very strong and dominant so far. Exactly what they need to do against Team Unity. Nice support fire. Fireball on Brandon. Blown away. Or rather, Kevin and Artstar blown away. Read the console correctly. Three-man defense on flag. Yeah, this is going to be huge for Unity right here now. Uh, now they're yeah, back in defense again. They're, they're, they're definitely not ceiling. making He's that mistake nice they shot. made the first time. Here it comes. Oh, nice, nice double man kill. Yeah, Lasher. Lasher has really Triple. been on fire this game, CKY. Very impressive. Yeah, he, uh, he's got a lot of great shots. Yeah, he's the reason, too, that they were able to get to transmitter last round. He took out two full there at the end when they grabbed the docks. They have artillery already all over their spawn for this next... Uh, no. Oh man, they're getting launched <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I saw that. Pooty pulling the Superman somehow survives. <laughs> Opens up with the Got Panther. And is going to take out Parcher Team Looks Captain. Like they're going to get into office though. Lasher Weak again. is making his way through office. Track they do not Got have it. service blown though. Just like corner camp Brandon here. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, he is. Swings around. And Brandon's going to kill out to the smart thing. They will get the flag. They will spawn. Merlin, plenty of time here. Just stay calm, stay patient, stay focused on the objective, race at home. Yeah, pretty Unity much. Uh, there was a nice setting up much quicker. They all fell back in the courtyard thinking someone snuck through, but I think it was weak. He just sat in the office. Uh, made made a lot of uh, the axis move back, which uh, freed up the flag. So they've got control of the flag now. They just need to take control of uh, axis spawn. Uh, the spawn time isn't that far off though, it's only like four seconds, so... As long as they can push like they did before, they've got a good chance of touching the docks and putting Unity under extreme pressure to, to stop them getting away with it. 
Service door breach that opens the way for Adarax here right now, part of the 18 squad of Team hell? Rusty. Anyone see that Panzer shot? Yeah. I don't know how it didn't kill anyone. It like hit that gap and didn't kill those two guys. Oh, well, Adarax had a nice little run going in the uh, service hall, but eventually Parcher drops down and takes him out and is able to revive his teammates. Uh, Unity definitely, definitely playing the uh, conservative D right now. Everybody's falling back. They, they do have two guys serving to hold on. Chrono takes both of them out. Here's another push. Oh, nice shot there by Putty. That's two. Two out full. Three man push. Big push coming in now, uh, service side. Uh, they have three out. Let's Fort roll. All alone. Their best chance. Oh, Lasher nice, is nice there, answer. but the documents are grabbed. We have a grab oh. right hand flank. Down in the field. Where are they at? Brandon's oh, he's not going to make it. Art Star's he's got not it. Make it. Good try. Coming up on the one minute warning here, Gut. Uh, that was fun to watch right there. Brandon was kind of uh, just hiding by uh, his spawn area there when the docks were grabbed, and he uh, kind of snuck up behind. There was a couple other axes, though, out there, so I don't know if uh, who was uh, who added an Arkstar. I don't know if he would have made it anyway, but it was a good point of view to watch. But, yeah, now they've got... Uh, oh. they're, they're looking in good shape here with... Oh, but Oxy with a nice grenade, and he's going to try to make a push right here. Taken down by Parcher. They're going to get this one last push here. This is one it. One minute warning. Well played by Parcher yep. and his Unity defense. This is exactly what needs to happen, Merlin, for Unity. They need to leave here tied 1-1. It's got to happen. Yeah, they've got four on docks now. They, 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 they put themselves in a position just to, like, turtle the, the, the defense away. It looks like they're going to grab it. Look at the, all the kills they've got. It's just a lot of Unity kills in the last 5-10 seconds. Yeah, they got I this. think they've done enough. This should, this should be a point for, for Unity now. Well, you guys wanted a close game, and that's exactly what you're getting here right now on Frostbite. 20 seconds away from a tied ball game. Quick shout-out to like that. Nikki Deadeye, great to have you guys. Have a seat. Prepare for the invasion. A grab a little bit too little too late. And unless Kevin can pull some kind of uh, Feta maneuver and teleport himself <laughs> to the transmitting tower, it ain't going to happen. So there we have it. Tied ball game. Let's take a look at the scores. CKY, break it down. Uh, looks like Unity came out on top there with the kills. Uh, definitely a little higher with the damage and uh, a much better job there on Unity's part. Uh, they held the flag a little longer than they did that first round. They set back. They, uh, they were all in their spots. Uh, they fell back a little early, but it was better off because they weren't, weren't all running around like, where the hell do I go? So uh, they fell back. <laughs> They did a great job there on that uh, that defense. Only a, only a couple dock reds right. there, and they were able to shut them down. So a uh, much better job there on Unity's part for uh, defense. Yeah, you could see a just a overall much better communication, and they they knew they had to take that round, or else they were done, you know, effectively. So they kind of uh, they held that flag as long as they could, and then uh, and fell back, played a nice tight D, and uh, and yeah, and they took it down. Welcome back to the command center, and we have 117 viewers. If you've not hit that follow button, please join the Axis Army. Join us in our fight to defeat the Allies. Uh, Woolwich on the mic, CKY Gut, and Merlin in the MG42 with us as well. Eli, Eli Manning Giants, thank you for sliding into the channel. Welcome, Commander. Good to have you. 1-1 one, one is the score. We are now switching servers. And uh, Merlin, I'm just awaiting your information. Yep, it's in my command. Okay, let's switch servers now. Hang tight. Back, I think, to the server that we were on initially. Yes. And I will take this moment, Gut, to hand the ball to you, because yet again, the Axis Goat calls. Stepping away, Gut, go ahead. <laughs> Cool, yeah. Well, uh, 
like you said, we're right back to uh, right back to where we started now, and uh, and Rusty's still has got to be uh, feeling good about being one to one heading into their home server now. Now they've got the ping advantage. Uh, and uh, was it Merlinator? I think you were saying earlier that uh, they they probably don't feel too bad about playing on ice if that's what uh, Parcher picks here. Right? Yeah, I don't think they I don't think they would care any map if I'm honest. Um, they've got a, they've got a one effectively a one point lead um, in terms of how the the maps will, will work. Um, they, to get around on American servers is really big, and it didn't seem like it affected their play too much. They were they were all shooting pretty well, and there are a lot of ET players in their team. Um, so anti lag is quite a big deal in ET. It's, it works very differently to RSW. It's uh, not as broken as the RSW one. Um, but it still has its issues, so uh, I think they'll be happy. I think coming out of that with a round. Yeah, I was gonna say I, mean, I think if, uh, if anybody, if anybody independently, if you watched that uh, the first two rounds that we just watched and you didn't know who the teams were and where they were from, you would guess that they were you know very similar in pings. Yeah, you couldn't really tell a difference there watching. Yeah, the indeed. Play. Whereas uh, pretty much most of unit, uh, most of um, Rusty had double ping uh, on Unity. Which, we, I mean, thankfully though, on Frostbite, it's quite a lot of hallway shooting. You know, it's two long hallways. You don't have to track too much. You can just spray a little bit down the hallway and you can get fortunate. Um, yeah, but yeah. I don't think there was much of that going on. It looked a lot like a lot of team play, two, you know, two on ones, which is really smart. Um, and we'll just see what Parcher picks now as the as the Unity map. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Ice. I'll be very surprised if it was something. Well, else. and also and also Pooty coming up big there too. Not just with his Fanzer, but with those grenades at the end of that one round. I think he's the he's the early candidate for MVP. If I had to pick one. Yep. And we yeah, will be doing the vote. Uh... <clears throat> excuse me for MVP, obviously at the end of the game. Um, for sure, depending on who wins, of course. See ya. Welcome back. Sorry, you're lagging, Commander Bob the Snitch. Good to have you in channel. And Fo20, always a pleasure. Uh, actually, Fo20 got to see me rage quit last night on my casual broadcasting Saturday night. I got really fed up <laughs> with the damn game I was playing. I just un uninstalled it, and I'm good oh, night. Crisis. I'm going to bed. Yeah, I had enough. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I just hate it. Just flipped the table. I'm done. Turned off the game and went to bed. No big deal. You really uninstalled it, or are you lying? I did. <laughs> wow. The ultimate you rage really quit. Did rage that's, quit a full, that's the full-blown <laughs> rage quit right there. Yes. <laughs> How many of you in channel Shit. have actually done that? Do any of you guys have experience playing a game that you get so pissed you just uninstall it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have actually done that. I played um, the first Batman game. Is it okay. Arkham Asylum? I'm, I think that's what it's called. And I played it for about 10 minutes, and I just uninstalled it straight away. Yep. I, just, I thought it was terrible. <laughs> and then how many of you have actually done that to Wolf? And how many times over the course of your of your professional career have you just rage quit, uninstalled, and come back, like, you know, the next day? <laughs> I, I've never uninstalled rage quit. I think everyone who's played competitively for a long time would have raged a bit in, in RSW. I've broken a mouse okay. while uh, playing it's, Wolfenstein. It's hard to imagine you angry, Merlin. You're you're always so calm under pressure. <laughs> I I genuinely I don't get angry at people I don't know, but with my own team, I'll get angry at people I know a lot more. Oh, I see. Uh, so it's just the way. No, I'm not directly angry at them. You know, it's not anything like that. But I just I can get frustrated like that. Bit, like some random person. Um, who tries to, if they're trying to insult me or something, they just don't know who they're dealing with. I really don't care. Um, but if, if someone I knew <laughs> said something, that would probably hit me harder, you know? Uh, I love all the stories. Weird. I love all the stories in channel about broken keyboards and shattered mice. I think we've all been there. Yeah, I, I, I destroyed a, a There's a room about around there, might play Assault. Hmm. Little birdie. Just told me. Interesting. That will be uh, gut a very unexpected choice. <laughs> oh, he's back. I got. Oh, did you uh, did you cut to me right before I sat back down? Yes, it's all good. 
There's four of ah, us in perfect. the war room. Uh, looks like I haven't missed anything when I stood up there for a second because we're still sitting on frostbite. The 20 minute decision to decide yeah. what map to play, there's so we many were, of them, it's like, hmm. We were just exchanging rage, rage quit stories. Yes. Got, have, you, have you got any stories for us? Any rage quits? I, it would be great if I just rage quit right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, here's a story for you. <laughs> There's, there, uh, this I don't know. is actually. I, what are they doing? I've, I've had, uh, I've definitely had a few like that. I've, I've witnessed. Never me. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't get too emotional about anything. I'll, I'll play. I don't care how bad I'm winning or losing. Uh, but uh, I've definitely played with people before who have uh, slash quit from a match and the team in the middle of a match. So it's always fun. I actually have a little story. I, I, out. I still talk to the Call of Duty guys a bit. Uh, because I, after Wolf went to Call of Duty for the continuance of World War II shoutcasting, and uh, they, so I would have to look up the thread, but somebody uh, on the thread was talking about his former game and how uh, they had had a match. He was 15 years old, and he rage quit. And when he did that, he, he, he quit his whole team. And when he did that, the team disbanded a week later. <laughs> so he was the cause of his entire team falling apart. Uh, it's not my stuff, oh, of course. Oh, hey, Wolf it crashes. took him that long to decide on that map. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Slap me in the they face, could've, please. They could have just listened to us, right? Jesus. I mean, we called this already. You're still getting the disconnects ah. after every map change, or which? Just, just this time. Uh, not earlier, but just this time. Uh, okay. But, yeah, we'll see. Back in server. So welcome to Return to Castle Wolfenstein tonight, the Alliance Cup. And we have a tied ball game of Rusty versus Unity. Uh, I could use spec, please. And it looks like we are, in fact, on MP Ice as predicted. God, there was a little talk that we might see Assault, but that did not pan out. Ah, that's too bad. But at the same time, probably uh, probably smart for Unity. I, I can't imagine they would fare much better on the European server on uh, the Han Assault uh, as opposed to Ice. But uh, but you know they they've got to be Unity. Uh, I mean, has got to be sitting there right now looking at it just like you know, hey, you know, we dropped around, but uh, we can do the same thing to them. You know, just come back this first round, set a. Well, actually, I guess they'll be starting off on defense. Oh, sorry. My computer just went all wacky on me. Waiting on four here on ice. Uh, the it looks like Rusty will be on the offensive push. They did very well on Frostbite. What are your thoughts here, Merlin, on this map? What do you expect, or what what do Rusty need to do in that first uh, two minutes? Um, I think if they continue like they did on Frostbite. And just get the you know the map objectives down in the first minute or two, you know the the breach, the the flag, maybe the wall if they're going to go for the wall. Um, just keep piling on the pressure. I think we're going to see a lot more of the same. This is going to be a, you know it's a very tight game. Both teams are doing exactly the same things, putting their opponent under a lot of pressure in the early minutes of the game. And I don't think anything's going to change um, here on the European server. I know they swapped out. Who did they swap out? It doesn't look they swapped out anybody. I think it's the first time they've made the server change without swapping someone out. Yeah, I don't think their other Which player is... was coming back. A couple who's their other player? Was it Mask? Yeah, the Max. Uh, I think that's who lagged out earlier, yeah. Waiting on one. And a couple new followers that I actually missed when I was AFK. Mr. PSW, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you. Spudzer! I think you've followed before, but also a pleasure. Welcome back. Prepare to fight. All right. Well, I hope you guys are ready. Change up the music. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. CKY is ready. I'm ready. I'm still spec locked on the axis. If you guys could fix that for me, it would be amazing. I'm sitting here watching, uh, Thank you. let's see, Pootie and Kevin moving up the North Hall, so Viz just hopped out, took him out, Pootie turned around and 
got Viz back uh, in fashion right there. But not much. Oh, is the partridge suits are pretty even so far here. Uh, Oski's going for Doc. Really? Not really grabbing the. Uh, he could do the jump. Well, we're with he's him now. Him him they know Spotted. he's there. And it's not going to work out. Good Spotted eyes, though, CKY. And the action is now underway. So now that I can see, I'm excited. They do get a flag. There's I Brandon. Spawn there. They will spawn there. Oh, no, he gets bits. it back just in time. Or, no, no, you got No, they spawn there. Never mind. Got it back, but not in time. The Axis Blitzkrieg now guy. rolling in. Yeah, looks like Rusty's uh, going patient here. They uh, throw out the Panzer. Pooty doesn't get anybody with it, though. Oh, and then Brandon turns around oh, and good gets night. Th all three of them. There goes that service push right there. Kevin, Atarax, Pooty, shut down, blown away. Well played, sir, well played. Nice kill from Brandon. Tracking Artstar. Brother of Merlin. Brandon with another two man. All's quiet here. The Reliance Cup spotlight on him. Opens up with a headshot to Chrono, takes him down, then drops a grenade for the Gib. Does not pay off, though, as Fireball intercepts. All right, Merlin, kind of give us a rundown of what you're seeing so far. Well, we're seeing uh, Unity take good control of the service door, not really letting Rusty have any um, sort of uh, penetration at all. They're sort of running into the Panzer of Brandon, though, they, you know, giving him three mans, two mans. Um, they just need to, to be a bit more patient, uh, sort of guess where he's going to be. He's always going to be there unless you've killed him out full, so going in twos and threes is not a good idea. They should get the black back here. Oh. Yeah, Kevin will get it. Yeah, he's got it. Alright, CKY, you've got the call, Commander. Go ahead. All right, looks like we do have, uh, where did I see? I just saw one guy in LT, uh, Oski. Oski is uh, at the wall here. He's messing with the guys on the hill. He's going to take one out. He's going to get seen. He gets taken out, but he does cause a distraction there. Uh, looks like we do have a good push here. Weak and Putty are outside now. Uh, at the covered ladder, Weak's going to climb up top, hand over hand. Let's see. Got one guy up here, Viz. He's a medic. He does not know he is up here. Sees him now. He's going to spot him. Pistol out. Can't come and out on top. And he's going to get taken out. Looks like Wee comes out on top. We have a Panzer medic combination on top. Big Pan shot coming in. Takes out one full there. Unless he's... I don't know if he's given or not. Parcher comes up from behind. Cover oh. ladder. And Brandon takes out the last guy with the Panzer. Ends that push. Good attempt. Good try. Still plenty of time, Gut. On the clock. Rusty. Let's get it done. Take it away. Gut, all you. Boy, this is looking good, and yeah, in Unity, uh, uh, they've got the flag back right now. They got three guys in the flag room. Uh, boy, yeah, this, this, this is about the best uh, the best start Unity could hope for right here now. Uh, no actual flag, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Doc touches uh, yet, although uh, Weak was very close as we just saw. And now they've got the uh, service halls on lockdown again, so uh, they're doing great for uh, being on the road right now. Service halls always a very, very nasty place, uh, CKY. We've seen you fight in these service halls numerous times. What's the secret to break the defense? Uh, Pans has got to kind of, you know, know where they're sitting, try to get out two on these offensive pushes. It's really important to take out at least two. Uh, try to at least take out the Panzer if you're going to take anyone out. And, uh, you know, you can't group up. you got to be careful. If you take the Panzer out, obviously you can group up and uh, kind of ru rush together, and that's kind of what you need to do. Uh, right now, looks like Chrono is the only guy in here holding the flag down. He's doing a good job. He's spamming that door with the MP40 fire. Parch is going to come in here and back him up. It looks like Unity has complete control now of the halls. Oh, Axis has two sneaking up the uh, north, though. Down to one. I guess it's weak. <laughs> yep, it is weak. Flying solo at the moment, though. A pistol, though. Won't last long, gonna get shut down by Viz who sees him. Elsewhere, the fight for the flag continues. 
fireball is here. Oxy tries to get some penetration, can't get past the two or three man D. And it's back to Helga's hut outside. Merlin, north and south, at what point do you make a south push? Well, they, they've been doing um, split pushes, but it looks to me like Bible had south pretty much on lockdown uh, on the hill. Playing really well at the moment. I think he's racking, racked up nearly 15 kills or so. Uh, you just you just got to be really, really quick. Um, they've got a five second head start on the, on the spawn, so they should be getting up north quicker. Brandon's got... Brandon's only just going to north, and they've just got to service door. This is a good push. This is a four or five man push. This is it. They've got to go to spawn yeah. ladder. Randall only Brandon, not a big panzer shot. He gets revived too. Ladder push here. And they got Arty on gate. Really nice Arty. Fireball's the only one over here down at the bottom. And we have a grab. All right. Weak has got it. Try to get a lock on him quick. But returned. Yeah, there it was. They dropped that mid-level and got taken out. The leap of faith got. Yeah, that was a that was an odd one there. I I, I would think if maybe he was a little more patient and uh, waited up top for a second, uh, he might have had better chances. Instead, he really just jumped right down into Fireball's uh, gunfire right there. But Unity is still doing you know, a great job here. I don't think. Uh, oh, nice job though. That's putting There's takes Brandon two out. Another two. Hoodie just going to work with a 9mm, follows it up by the Panzerfaust. You take a look, yeah, Unity a straight shot. down CKY, looking very solid on the console. Yeah, this is definitely their map. They uh, they play very well on ice, and uh, even, even with the ping disadvantage, they're still doing a great job on defense here. Having faced them, on the clock. having faced Unity as often as you have with such a tight rivalry, if you could give advice to the offense right now, for Team Rusty, what would it be? Here's Weak. Upper uh, I tell I tell Weak to kill Lasher right now and grab the docks. That's what I tell him to do. Let's see, he does He's it. He listening. listens to me. He takes out Lasher and grabs Leap the docks. Fate. He's gonna drop let's down. Let's go. See, there's Race the him home. All right, he's, he's listening to you, CKY. He's got it. Let's roll. There we go. Bounding home. Kevin backs him up. 155 on the clock. It may not be the best time, but at least it will be a time. Let's go. 149 Possibly. making his way know. to half track now. They do now. have the flag there all over south. He's going to get mitten. Viz might take him out. Ah, Viz, watch he's out. Take Viz. Him out. He doesn't see him. Holy nice shit. Nice grenade. He's take a look. He's done. He's screwed. He's screwed. He, he should have just he gone. went back to their spawn. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Weak was going the wrong way there. Whoops. I don't know what he was doing there. Weak push. If his mission was to find more bad guys, he, he did that. that one. Yeah. Between yeah, a rock and a hard place right there. He, he could have went back to their spawn too, and they would have probably had it. You have to do that once in a while. Take it back to the uh, far spawn and just wait for your teammates. He was all by himself the entire push, so. They might get one more shot here, though. One minute warning. They might get one more chance to grab. We got four guys spawning in front bunker here for allies. Uh, one guy's up, two guys all right, are up. Alright, Oxy, he's ready. Oxy. He's got it. LT, bam! And Shazam! Brandon Panzerfaust's kill gets it done. Atarax is there to pick it up. The bloody documents from the shattered body of his companion. He Let's can go. Make it. He's doing the jump south. Down the he, hill. He lives. Skis. Strikes a tree. Inside. Here we go. Race it home. Gut. Uh-oh. Oh, Parcher no. there Parcher says there. no. None shall pass. Ain't gonna happen. Full Shut hold. down. Full hold. Merlin, take us home. That's about it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. I don't think they should be too disheartened. Uh, you know, you can if you get a full hold, you can cancel this out. So it's not too big a deal. They just have to have a really good defense. I mean, it's just put a lot of pressure on them to have a good defense now. But attacking with 100 ping, 150 ping, is, is much harder to do than defending with 150 ping. All right, Gut, there's your scores. Break it down, Commander. If you're here, well, there you let's are. see here. I just had to. Yeah, oh yeah, I am. I just had to load him up there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, 
impressive. Uh, I think that uh, it shows what we uh, thought we would see right there. Fireball with a great round, as uh, as somebody mentioned earlier. There, so he was just holding down the south house by himself there for a long time. Uh, Twenty three and seven. I mean, just wow, and kind of operating solo as well. Uh, but yeah, for being the team with a, uh, a slight ping disadvantage here, I mean, they did 18,000 damage granted on defense uh, versus 14,000. And uh, yeah, it's all around solid for them. Uh, that, that's the, the best possible outcome for them right now. And if they can set a time there, uh, it's practically back to even uh, effectively in this match. Moments away now, waiting on Viz. Well, waiting on a few. Just waiting on one, but... Hard to tell. The vote underway to start the match. Parcher saying hang tight. CKY, I've always noticed there's a lot of discussion from Unity. They definitely take their time with the, their decisions. Their map choices. No, it's not so much Unity, it's just Parcher. He's very yeah. particular. It's like he's playing for eight billion dollars. <laughs> He's got the desire to win it. So there we have it. All right. Yeah, that's for sure. 1-1, one, one, rolls now reversed. And we're going to see what Unity can do as they make the charge as the Axis here tonight. Gut, you've got the call that will hand it to CKY. Let's roll. Came on. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Take it away. Uh, it looks like Rusty. One. Kevin's pushing out in the halls. Brandon's going to come in, get taken out. Putty takes out two there on North Service Halls. And uh, they're going to take over right now. Got three guys here from Unity pushing the North Halls, including an engineer. Chrono's going to be the engineer. He's going to try to get a plant down on the service halls. He's pretty weak. He just took a nade. No. Oh. And looks like one guy is guarding oh. the plant. It is Art Star. He's yep. got a Thompson in hand. He's kind of. He's oh. going to take Chrono out. He what should give him. Nope. And he's going to revive. They will get that plant down. Chrono's going to plant right now on the service halls at 914. Gut got to hand it to Art Star, though. He really held his own. Yeah, that was a good, uh, good quick defense right there. Uh, as far as uh, running solo, trying to guard that door, that's always a, a fun proposition. But now you've got uh, Rusty, or I'm sorry, uh, Unity, fully on the offensive push here. I'm trying to, let's see, where's everybody at here? I'm watching Brandon here, trying to see if he's, uh, I don't know. Everybody I switch to, nobody's doing anything. Everybody's just, uh, They're just waiting for the kind service of taking all their well. time. Quiet before the yeah. storm. Unity does have the flag, though. They just got a full respawn, so let's see yep. which way they push here. And only, only, uh, well, Kevin's here. Adarax on the hill. But it shut down. Or taps out. Sure which every south Brandon takes one out for full. Yeah, there's only one in here north. He's gonna lose. This is not good. Get this car on the wall. Merlin, taking a look at what you're seeing right now, is the offense solid? Is the defense strong? What's the situation from your from your view? Well, it looks like Unity are doing a 4-2 split. They've got four going south, and they want to get the plant on the ward. Um, so they're going to be coming up against two guys pretty much the entire time on the ward. And it's up to them to just yep. stop the plant, and they've managed to do it really nice from, yeah, from Rusty. Asking. Hang tight. Got a oh, grab. A, a dox grab. Oh, taken nope. out by support fire. Wrong place, wrong time. Weak makes the return. Okay, CKY, go ahead. Uh, they all kind of climbed up top to get the docks. I'm not sure they should have done that. Let's see if they can push back down into north service halls. And uh, Putty is here. It looked like they're pushing down into north halls now. Uh, let's see if they can get a flag grab. And they're going to spawn there, so let's see what Unity does. Unity right now are all pushing north halls. They're in box room, pushing their way out. Viz is here with the Panzerfaust, Brandon, pushing through North Halls right now, Viz, Brandon, and Parcher, and the rest of their oh. team, and <laughs> let's see, Brandon leading the charge, he's going to take Ew. no one out, but Putty takes him out, vaporizing yeah. himself, Parcher is here with another medic, Fireball Parcher going up the ladder perhaps, waiting for each other, they're mid-level, they're going to climb up that overhand ladder, covered ladder, Fireball Parcher, stuck inside of here. They are up top. There's only one guy up top. Incoming That's Kevin. Grenade. He's going to kill out. Play smart. Doesn't want to go out full. 
Fireball will make a grab here. So with Fireball and Parcher up top with the documents. Fireball kind of trying to figure out what he's going to do. He gets taken out from the hill. Parcher's going to try to revive him. He does so. Can't languish up here long. Cut. You've got to race at home. He's got it. But. All right. Here's down the hill on say, the did, skis. Go ahead, Gut. Good job of dodging that Panzer. Yep. Race at home. So he dodged Take that Panzer well. Parcher uh, revived him right there, and uh, yeah, now we're looking uh, straight through. I'm trying to cycle through to see if I can find. There might any be one person. Players. Oh wait, Pudi. yeah, it's Pudi with the uh, Panzer. He, there it he is. He takes him out, oh, but Parcher's gonna it. pick it up. No, nope, he's got it. That's it. That's game. Well timed by Pudi, but here's Parcher now racing at home. Blood Unless stain Arc documents Star inside at five three seven. Him. Can no. they do it? No, and they beat the time. Let's take a look. 4-2-4, so that is a point for Team Unity. Here's the scores. Go ahead, Merlin. Yeah, the scores uh, don't tell the, the full story, I guess. So It was a much better performance from Unity on defense. Um, they had 109 kills. Uh, uh, less gibs, uh, a little bit more damage. Um, but they got the round point, and, that, and that's the most important thing. Um, so they, they, they can't lose now in uh, regulation. Uh, so it's up to Rusty to force a decider. They have to win this next round to force a deciding map. Otherwise, we're going to have your um, well. If, if they, if Unity win this round, then your prediction comes right. Wow, that's that a miracle. For which you did, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for the first time in a year and a half, my prediction could happen, could come right. But there's a lot of time still <laughs> uh, in the game. All right. Well. 424, you Unity beat that time and once every 13 years. Yeah, every so often. Here's the push. <laughs> CKY back to you. Here comes Brandon and friends trying to seal the deal and win the game. Can they do it? We'll find out. Let's roll. CKY, take it away. All right, let's take uh, let's take a look here at South Halls. We got Viz here with Brandon. Brandon already took his shot. Viz taking out two there. He's going to take out the last one. Nice job and they do have South Falls. Kevin's the only guy here holding South Falls. And let's see what Viz decides to do. He's going to play a little ring around the rosy here with uh, Kevin. He's going to take him out. They do get the flag. Nice distraction there by Viz. South uh, South uh, Halls made uh, made three of their guys transfer over. So they got a quick flag grab once again. Really, really not a great job on defense there by Rusty uh, holding that flag. They get the service door blown and... Uh, this is not looking so good for Rusty this round. They're going to kill out and try to set up quickly because uh, Parcher and his team are coming in really fast. Yeah, they're coming in quick. It's like a oh, trench run. Good. Go ahead, Gut. Take it away. Let's roll. I was going to say, this is a, it's a great start for Unity right here. Every time I switch to a Unity player, I mean, he's killing someone and they just uh, keep moving forward right here. Uh, Rusty definitely has to fall back. I'm watching Weak right now on the... Uh, on the middle level, and he just uh, fireball really just upper tier for himself right here with a. Uh, oh, he takes down Parcher though with a pistol. Great shot by Weak. Right Fireballs there. up here again. Kevin will defend. I don't know if he knows Kevin's right there. Nice, Kevin nice takes defense. him out. But they are struggling. They are. They're kind of pinned up top right now, and. Uh, it's not the greatest defense. Uh, artillery strike can take them out pretty easily. So, only weak is up here now with a pistol. Oh. And they do get a flag <laughs> grab, but no, they do. Keep a moment there. too late. Not in time. Yeah. All right, Merlin. Brandon's already pushing North Falls. Merlin, a lot of momentum here for Unity. How does Rusty stop it? Well, it's got to be um, annoying. Uh, it's it's going to. A lot of that um, responsibility is going to come down on Puddy, just to annoy them with nades, even if it doesn't kill anybody, you know, just seeing a nade can annoy some players. If he, can, if he just constantly spams some nades in north, they, Fireball somehow keeps on getting up uh, the covered, lab, co covered ladder. Yeah, Parcher and Fireball, they keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. No one else is up here. It, yeah, it doesn't look good. It's only it's only Puddy. Uh, it's Oxy as well, he's got a bit of support. This is for 10 seconds though. Nice play there by Parcher. They're probably going to get away. On the ladder. This should be it, really. I don't think they're going to have much resistance. Parcher now. 
Not a great defense. Oh, Lasher, oh, nice support fire. Defense. Three man kill says hello, Oxy. Kevin Adarax, you are out of here. Getting it done and going to work, earning that paycheck and clearing the way. Parcher racing home, going to set a very solid time here at MP Ice. And in just a moment, three, two, and a one. Here we go. Bam and Shazam. Three, two, six. Three, two, six. The time to beat gut. That is not going to be easy. Here's your scores. Well, like uh, like Merlin was saying, uh, it's, it started to look like your prediction might be good, and I should have mm -hmm. stuck with three one instead of two one. Uh, we've we've already seen them uh, full hold Rusty on here on the European server uh, <laughs> for the full ten minutes. Um, so uh, you have to think the uh, the ball is in uh, Unity's court yeah. right now, and uh, and we'll see if they can run with it here. A lot of pressure. CKY, you've been in the situation before where your team has, I mean, it's going to be the most important three minutes of their lives in this match to force the decider. What do you do? How do you rally yeah, your they squad? Gotta, they got to be aggressive. They have to be aggressive. They have to get in their face. They have the ting advantage. They need to get that flag as fast as Unity got it. And they need to take over uh, south as fast as possible, get that plant down as fast as possible, and just get a freaking get things going in motion put them out of place like they just did to them so you saw that uh, Rusty wasn't able to get into North Poles at all there they had to pretty much play up top the whole time and it screwed them up they didn't know what to do they 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 had a terrible defense they're all screwed up so yeah, I'd recommend them doing the same thing that <laughs> Unity just did to them well here's week it all has to go right he's the engineer plant coming down right now leans down pliers out going to work gets it done okay three minutes on the clock Back to the halls. Kevin trying to make revivals. Oh, Can't get a gun. A double TK action right there, though. Ain't going to help. Fireball on flag defense with Parcher. And, and chaos. Every, every second that Unity can yep. take off here while holding onto that flagpole, I mean, they're, they're just... They're just knocking down the amount of pushes that uh, that Rusty has, and we're already down to two minutes and thirty seconds right now, and uh, no flag spawning at Helga's hut. It's, it's, uh, not, it's not looking good. good, but it's doable. Kevin on point, drops a grenade, swings around, MP40 in hand, head to head against Brandon, shuts him down. It's all right, that's three guys taken out. Um, they are going to spawn now, though. So they do have North Falls, which is good. They have Flag and North Falls. They are pushed up in the front. Unity are at the gate right now. Kind of just shooting inside of those two double doors. May come down to Kevin here right now, dodging grenades, but can't do it. Lasher is there and shuts him down with a grenade to the face. One for eight. All right, Merlin, tactical commentary here. Time is running out. Go ahead. Yeah, they, need, they really need to do what, exactly what they did that time and just put them under a bit more pressure. They, they just waited in north. They I waited too know. much. Um, I think what CKY was saying, be aggressive, is, is quite important. You know, they've got nothing to lose here. You know, they, one minute. they just got to push. That's a big panzer. They've got 10 seconds to get, like, spawn ladder is the easiest way to get up top. It's completely clear. But they just haven't got anyone else in north. All right, here's Oxy. Oh, I think Taps Fireball out. is. Oh wait, I thought he was going to make the uh, the One last ditch warning. run on the defense right here, but now he's uh, he's falling back. Oh, he takes out Oxy, but then now Artsar has him. Still Pretty much, you got to now throw dogs. caution to the wind. You just got to go for it. Throw yourself into the meat grinder. Get it done. Grab the docks. Race them home. Beat the time. I don't know if it's going to happen. Here's Parcher. He's yeah, he's on top. Watching the documents carefully. And that's a smart move. And that looks like that is going to be it. And my prediction, uh, won't call it yet, but. Still got one up top, but it'll take a miracle run right now. Yeah, that's the, it's twenty. It's like 27 seconds if you like extremely fast. Our big artillery from Lasher. I think Lasher's putting some pretty big. Uh, Nice support, um, fires, nice artilleries, nice panzer shots. I think he's a he's a pretty good uh, pretty good hit for MVP maybe. <laughs> that <laughs> on the tree. is that, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, three to one. A team unity win it tonight with a domination situation, getting it done and making it happen. Let's update the scoreboards here.
and congratulations to them. We'll head out of server. Okay. So, God, my prediction is actually correct. I'm going to salute myself. 3-1, Unity, getting it done. Very early on on Frostbite, though, Rusty looks strong, setting the time of 4-4-9. Unity could not beat it. Go up 1-0. Then Unity set the time of 5-0-2. Rusty can't beat it. Tied 1-1. We head off to MP Ice. Rusty axes offense, no time. Unity 4-2-4. Four, four. Uh, and then 2-1 for, or, excuse me, 2-1 for Unity. And then Unity set the time of 3-2-6, which, of course, cannot be beaten by Rusty, yielding our final score of 3-1 to one tonight. We're going to do some MVP action. Uh, let me pull up the rosters, and let me hand this to you, Gut, while I do that. Well, I was going to say, I guess if, uh, if people didn't know it already, they will know it now that uh, Unity and Ice, uh, they go well together. Uh, you know, we all thought uh, that uh, once, they, once they fell down 1-1 one one there on their home turf it was like oh well you know rusty's rusty's got this game in the bag now they've, they've got it tied up they're heading to the european server yep. and uh you know all they have to do is uh, is win at least one more but uh that proved to be uh, quite elusive right there uh real quick here merlin we had brandon lasher parcher who were the other three i want to make sure i get the mvp lineup fireball viz and chrono okay all right, I let think you guys. Fireball had a really good game. Let you guys banter. Yeah, but Fireball and Lasher. I agree. Uh, probably Fireball or Lasher. Just entering the information now. We'll be putting up the Axis Go poll here in just a moment. So prepare to make your. Your votes, there we go, poll is up. Let me link it. Unity MVP, who wins? Vote now. There we have it, all right, let's head over to the Axis Goat poll. <laughs> Take a look at the results as they come in live. Smoke steel saying, "Sauerkraut is I the MVP." Say again. Go ahead. Sauerkraut. I was going to say again. Uh, I'd, I'd like to give some uh, some props always to the losing teams, and uh, and and Pooty played a great game there. He did. I think he uh, he did really well. Pretty tight competition here so far, Merlin, between Lasher and Fireball. Yeah, I think that's to be expected. They both played a pretty good game. Um, Lasher was more, uh, I guess, influential with his like uh, explosives, um, panzers, support fires, airstrikes, whatever, um, artillery. Fireball seemed to pick up um, a lot of frags on ice, playing south. Um, you know, it was, it was pretty solid play from all of them, um, but those two did, did seem to stick out um, as uh, key key performers you know, for the victory. Apologies to Chrono, I guess he doesn't use an H. Alright. The H is silent. Yeah, it's alright. Regardless. He'll live. But he's not gonna win anyway. Whoever the whoever the <laughs> random player is out there who plays as the name Chrono with an H is like, wow, I got an MVP vote, I didn't even play in this match. <laughs> I do like what I'm hearing in channel as well. Shrubnub, I guess, is forming a team. It's it's great to hear. Um, it's another team too starting up. Yeah, it's, it's good to hear that. Uh, Festus and a couple of guys, Crucifix, and those guys from uh, Locked On Target are starting a team with John or uh, Nightwolf from FX. And... Currently, votes are tied between Lasher and Fireball. We will check it back in here in a moment. Place your vote for the MVP of the game here tonight. Uh, Merlin, any updates maybe on statistics? And if you guys haven't hit follow yet, I think most of you actually already have, please do. It would be great to have you join the Axis Army. Uh, I'll try and do a stats file. Okay. Um, but I have been having some problems when I've been doing it from spec. 
The uh, votes are still tied between Lasher and Fireball, so we have a very close competition between these two here. And if uh, you can't decide at home, then we'll have to do a tiebreaker ourselves. We'll go ahead and do first to 20. Go back to the Axiscope poll here. <laughs> Lasher with 19, Fireball trailing by 18. First to 20 is going to win it. Will it be Lasher or Fireball? Remains to be seen. One vote away. Sixty. Oh. Uh. Well. <laughs> and again, it's always, it's always good to see. I'd like to see these, uh, these matches. Nineteen. Where, like, there we go. The the M Oh, there we go. Hang well, tight. I'd like to see when the MVP vote isn't uh, very clear because it shows that uh, obviously everybody as a team played well. And they played well together. I was going to say first to 20. It was almost dead even. I mean, it's now tied 21 all. Oh, God. Well, you can check the stats in my comment. Maybe that'll okay. sway some people's uh, decisions. All right. Let's head over. Flying Panda Man 21, welcome to Warwitch TV tonight. Thank you for hitting that follow button. Here's your statistics. Let's take a look. All right, Merlin, break down what you see. We have uh, Fireball with uh, 50 kills, uh, 18 Gibbs. It's not bad, you know, 13,000 damage. A bit, a bit of a lower damage efficiency, maybe. Um, Lasher had massive kills and massive damage, but he was Panzer, and he was playing LT, so you expect that. Um, I think the overall numbers uh, for Unity um, are pretty good. A lot of Gibbs, you know, fit, you know, 20, 40s, 30s, 50s, pretty good. And you can see compared to um, compared to Rusty, a lot of those were getting in the, in the teens. Uh, only Art Star really had a, a reasonable amount of Gibbs for um, for Rusty outside of the Panzer. Um, I think Rusty themselves would probably be quite disappointed with um, how they played individually. I think as a team on the American server they played very well, um, but individually I don't think they were very strong when it came to the European server. Um, you know, the likes of Weak and, and Kevin, you don't normally see them have such um, negative uh, ratios considering they're like aiming beasts. Um, you expect them to have uh, really, really good high ratios. Um, uh, in terms of the award, uh, it had some uh, Unity getting a lot of the Rampage awards, Frags Without Dying, got Firewall Parcher and Rand in there, so there was a, a, a lot of dominating streaks from, from Unity compared to compared to Rusty, unfortunately for them, and uh, I think the, it, the weapon stats and everything just it carries on. Uh, unfortunately, there were no knife stabs and no knife kills in that game. Son of a bitch. No knives know, or right? MG42s. Yep. You gotta Which... have village for the MGs. Yep. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, well, there is the option on ice, but uh, no one ever uses it. Killing efficiency goes to Pootie, the highest, yeah, but then the right beneath him, it's Unity straight down. Uh, very nice. Slaughterhouse award again for Pootie. And you talked a little bit about this gut that you wanted to kind of give him a shout out. Though his team did not win, he really performed well. You can see that Lasher, Brandon, and Viz are right behind him as well. So there you have it. Let's check in one final time here. We'll head back to the command center for a moment. Good games tonight, and we will check in one final time to our Axis Goat poll. You, you devils. All right. Uh, tied up 22 all. I said first to 20, but it really happened so quick. I'd have to check the recording to see who got there first. I thought maybe it was Lasher. So how, how many? We got four of us here. CKY, let's get your vote. Who's the MVP, Lasher or Fireball? Uh, I think Fireball, to be honest. Okay. I think he did a really good job uh, on, on defense on the hill, and he did a really good job on offense uh, getting up to grabbing the docks and causing distractions in north, and definitely go with Fireball. All right, Merlin, your thoughts. Fireball or Lasher for MVP? We're doing a tiebreaker here. Well, I think I think CKY uh, made a good point, but I think without Lasher doing what he was doing, the, the big strikes, the covering, pans the shots, 
it was going to be much more difficult for those sort of things to happen. So I'm going to have to say Lesher. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and weigh in. Uh, you know, I'm going to gut. Go ahead. Your thoughts, Lasher or Fireball? If you well, say Fireball, say, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to throw it. I'm going. No, I'm going to throw it all into a loop, and I'm going to okay, make you make Parcher. a decision, Warwich, because <laughs> actually, after thinking about it for a bit, I'm going to say Parcher, because I didn't realize he actually had a he had a pretty good uh, ratio right there. I mean, uh, as far as kill death, and uh, he was kind of playing that back medic, so he didn't see a lot of action, okay. uh, not a lot of damage given. But uh, he also ran the docks most of the time, so I'll just make it a 1-1-1, and now you have to pick uh, who wins out of that. All right, well, I guess it comes down to me, and if you take, a, again, a look at the access scope poll, you can see it's tied up 23-all. We have two for Lasher and two for Fireball. So that being said, I'm just going to play the nice guy role here. Sound the alarm. I'm going to give it to Fireball tonight. So Lasher and Fireball both deserve MVP. I think clearly... That's the direction this is heading. So congratulations, gentlemen. Uh, you, you, you did a solid job tonight. So we'll hand out two awards, two medals to both Lasher and Fireball. Very exciting game. Thank you guys for being a part of it. We had uh, uh, quite a few viewers here for Return to Castle Wolfenstein. We'll be back with more. Make sure you hit follow. Uh, make sure you also uh, follow Warwitch on Facebook, where we'll update you about upcoming games. We should have some matches happening here very soon. In fact, we'll head back here quickly. Whoops, there we go. We know we're looking at KIH versus Raw going to be coming up soon. Uh, blatant Disrespect versus Face. CKY, give us an update on this. Uh, we're trying to do it during the week around 3 p.m. Eastern, so okay. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a Wednesday or a Thursday. Probably a Thursday. We'll see. Definitely not Friday because that's Valentine's Day. Gotcha. And my girlfriend will kill me. <laughs> Girl aggro. So this will be coming up soon, guys. Stick around for updates on that, and the winner of which will be squaring off against Team Unity. If it is, if it's you again, blatant disrespect in Unity, that'll be fun. I, I look forward to seeing that. If it happens, we'll find out. Oh, and I'd of love course, Gage versus but, uh, Raw as we, really good, so we'll see. Yeah, as we crawl our way through the Alliance Cup playoffs tonight. All right, guys. Thank you much for being here. Good games on behalf of CKY Gut and Merlin, and the Axis Goat Airwall, which saying good games and good night. We'll see you soon. Take care. Good night. Good games, guys. Goodbye. Good games.